and you can see a woman it lying down in a tent. I communicate with um, Jinjin telepathically to ask him if it's okay to come off here. Uh, I see three humans. Uh, they're Two humans, humans, right? Two humans. Oh, okay. I see three pogs, and I don't know which ones are humans or not. What are you talking about? They're, they're, they're question marks. Oh, you mean this thing? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, 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 that's a pile of weapons, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, I don't uh, see that. Okay. Oh wow, I see that. Uh, really remember weird. that. Remember that I had to reinstall, so I don't have any of the environment pox that Alex made. Uh, oh, no wonder. Okay. Well, um, that's that. Uh, that's what that is. Um. Okay. Um. So anyway, so I, I see two humans. I still tell him I see two humans. Um. But do uh, you, you, I, I'm not gonna move until told otherwise. Okay. I'm gonna ask. Um. I don't want to hurt these people as they don't it doesn't look like they've done anything wrong but just in case this turns violent you know I want to cover all our bases what kind of weapons are there that they have um, uh, I should probably roll perception to find that out um, actually you can t okay yeah go ahead that's yeah. good Holy okay God. on the 20. table you see two bows and a quiver full of arrows and a short sword do any of them appear to be magical no they're just okay. standard hunters stuff, and and a, okay. a knapsack uh, right next to the table that they're resting on. Oh, baby! Oh, I, okay. I, all right. So I think we might want to move up. Though I think Jinjin might want to wait for the rest of us to get here. So, I mean, they'll probably hear us in the bushes, though, considering we won't be rolling stealth. But what do you guys want to do? I don't. I think that what we should do is just kind of like walk up and then okay. have him join. Jinjin, oh, all right. Jinjin sees the young man look up at the sky and then he calls. It's like, <laughs> I just say it's like okay. She calls. I'm trying to think of a name. Wow. I'm, okay. <laughs> she calls. It's it's almost nighttime. Get ready. She she calls out. Okay, I'll be right out. And so then he proceeds to walk over to the table, take out his bow, and check its strength. Alrighty, um, do you, we should just say hello over there? Yeah, I like, think I'm gonna just walk up with the axe. Though I'm gonna have... No, I'll keep my hood on. No, uh, listen, Are listen, listen. Sure? How about we walk... Guys, guys, listen, just so we don't look awkward... How about we all walk up through the same like path that Jinjin yeah. is, and he just joins our group as if he wasn't even hiding in the bushes. Because if they know that we were like watching them or something, they're gonna think we were up to something weird. Yeah. Okay, where's um? Ah, there we go. Also, VX rarely takes his hood off for anyone, so. Okay. Because when you're nine thousand something hundred and something something years old. <laughs> Well, when you're over, uh, oh, I was about to say over nine thousand. You know what? Screw it. When you're over nine thousand years old, um, Bellasar, can you lower your pod, please? Yeah. Oh yes. No, I'm oh. invisible. It's sort of like shardmons have a very strange appearance. So They're literally made out of crystal. Yeah, for whatever reason, okay, he doesn't. Okay, so like are to you show gonna move up? up? Yeah, I'm gonna have uh, Jin Jin go first. No, Jinjin Jin and everyone else, because I don't want just a kobold walking in a can. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Balasar, actually, they're minors. Okay, let's let's do Balasar. this. Nope. There. Oh, sorry. Okay. Just, as uh, you oh, approach, oh. as you approach, um, he hears you, and he quickly turns around with his bow in his hand, and then, uh, like, his face surprised, but then he kind of gives a sigh when he sees, when he sees you. Balasar, says, like, this is your territory. You should roll diplomacy. Uh, um, this is diplomacy, by the way, not in. Okay. <laughs> Twenty. Twenty nice. minutes. What do you say? Uh, hello. We are travelers, or something. Well, maybe not, or something. But we are travelers looking for a place to stay. We noticed that it was getting dark extremely fast, and uh, a friend of um my friend who was in the back of our party said that the hunters along this trail like to give refuge and shelter to uh, weary travelers. The young man sighs and smiles. Ah. Oh. Thank goodness, I thought you were something else. Um, yeah, yeah, we've got plenty, we got two tents over here. Uh, you can fit two people in each. Uh, go ahead and, well, you're welcome to stay. Um, just, uh, be ready to wake up if anything, you know, comes out at night. 
and we need you to defend or something like that, you know. It should be fine though. But uh, uh what without what? actually communicating with the man, I'm gonna communicate with Balasar and ask him to ask the man, um what kind of things he would be expecting during the night that I was would be actually just about to ask. That. Awesome, you Before do that. Before you can, the young woman walks out and is like, Darling, who's out? Who's there? Oh, some travelers. Oh, well, you're welcome to stay. Yeah, it's kind of awkward that her pog is a, like a picture of a crowd of yeah, people with like I, two I women in pose. It's like, it's like it's a two-headed woman. <laughs> No, he, this man is married to a crowd of young women. Oh, God. <laughs> He's the most <laughs> awesome man. Okay, um, yeah. Alright, how about... Here, how about this one instead? Let me, um... How about that one? Oh, I can see that one. Oh, yeah. That's not really any better, but okay. <laughs> I can't even... He's married to a witch doctor. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, now I'm thinking the female witch doctor from Diablo 3. Exactly. It's a hunch okay, and everything. All right, fine. How all right, about... let's just do that. <laughs> okay. Just How use about the one that you smart. No. Just, just use the witch doctor. Okay, right. <laughs> no, just use the one that you covers with fear. Liam, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's his <laughs> wife. I was just gonna say, just use the one that you use for your mom, quote unquote. Oh, no, no, because that's a unique one. All right, anyway, um, Bellasar, weren't you going to ask something? Oh, yes, um, what do you mean by if we need to wake up and defend against something? Oh, you know, um, well, part of the, part of the, uh, agreement that you're staying here is that, uh, you help us defend against any things that might try to, you know, kill us in our sleep, so... What kind of things are you thinking of? You know, like packs of wolves, and, you know, you've heard of the kobold skirmishes recently, right? Yeah, I was just thinking that you were, you know, watching out for some kind of super evil dark spirit which roams the wood at nights, or something like that. He shrugs and says, but, I haven't seen anything like that. Well, let's hope not. <laughs> But thank you for uh, for your hospitality, and we will definitely stand ready to defend this encampment from any. Smiles and says. Viat under his hood nods uh, in appreciation at the two pe uh, people, young people. They both nod and say yeah, thank you. It's like a scary old. And woman. then uh, the woman looks at your the wolves, the dead wolves that you're carrying. And it's like, wow, that's a lot of wolves. Did you kill those all? Uh yes, we did. <laughs> And then the man says, it's like, well, we'd be happy to buy some pelts off you if you want. Also the meat I mentioned the Balasar. Uh, sure. Would you have any interest in the, uh, the meat or maybe even the bones? He kind of... We really have no use for any of the wolves. He kind of frowns and says, I'm not sure I'd like any wolf meat, no. Uh, but the pelts will, will, are... Interest me. Sure. We should just cook them ourselves then. We'll get some yeah. kind of food out of it. Yeah. Um, okay. We should just draw. We should uh, there's a, smoke the, them. This pit right here, That's is that like a, yeah, pit a pit of fire, fire pit. that we can. Okay, then we should probably just cook them in now. You might want like, to ask them if you can use, if you can use your, their fire pit. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, I ask him, well, since you would only like to purchase a pelt, so would you mind if we use your uh, fire to uh, cook the meat? And she kind of like. Looks around and says, uh, okay. I'm not sure why you would want to eat wolf, but all right. <laughs> hey, uh, Old Kajin says, meat is meat and we shouldn't waste it. Yeah, I'm at 24 out of 33 hit points. Any he food is and good right now. And says, all right. Um, so, how much you want for the pelts? All right, while this is going on, Vax will disengage himself from conversation Wait, I, over here and begin preparing a ritual. Uh, I've Wait, got a question. The young man, no, I, the young no, man I, looks at Vax. Like, Wait, it takes 10 hours? 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, 10 the minutes. Young man, All right, guys, the young man looks minutes. at Vax right. and says, well, what are you doing? Um, Vax pauses and then sends a message to Balasar. Tell the man that he's preparing any kind of defenses that will set up an alarm if we're attacked during the night. He is simply setting up a magical uh, 
alarm, if you will, that will warn us if anything approaches during the night. He nods. So and he nods he's slowly back to his and ritual. says, okay. Um, so, how much uh, of the phone? Oh, yeah. By the way, alright, listen, listen, this is kind of complicated here. I relay a message through VX to the rest of the party asking what a good asking price would be for the, uh, the meat. I okay. mean, not the meat belt. You reply to my message. You have 25 words to do, so that's fine. Um... <sighs> Okay, so I, then mean, like, I tell the entire party that, that we should, I should, I, um, I ask the entire party what a good price would be for the pelt, but I specifically, uh, ask Jinjin to appraise the goods with his specialized skills. There you go. Thievery, wait, what? What are you doing? Thievery is like... Well, I was using thievery, or like, I, I guess it might also be street. What is street doing? Oh, wait, the doing? What is he doing? I'm trying to appraise Look, how much we should uh, ask. That's like trying to find oh, a price. Oh, from me. You know? Yeah. Okay. Because uh, I have uh, no he, idea. There used to be there. There used to be an appraisal skill where you could appraise an item for how much money it's worth. I I think it was rolled in the thievery, but I have to look it up. I don't. Do you think? So the same. I was thinking somewhere between fifteen and twenty gold a pelt. Yeah. Pe well, it depends. How large are the pelts? Um, the wolves are fairly large. Um. 20 gold would yeah, probably be pretty gold good. Seems, yeah, 20 gold seems, yeah. Raptor, for the Okay, this is how we should do it. We should ask for a price higher than what we think it's worth, and if they'll give it to us, great. If they don't, we'll negotiate it down to the normal price. So just ask for, like, 30 gold. Sure, uh, 30 gold a pelt. Hmm. No, a pelt or overall? A pelt. A pelt. We, were asking, we were thinking a pelt. 20 gold a pelt, Definitely but a pelt. we're going to ask for 30 gold a pelt. He, he shakes his uh. head as, like, no, uh, call it 15 a pelt and you got a deal. Go down to 25. No, 20. Just rest at 20 and say, 20 is our final off. He shrugs and says, alright, fair deal. Uh, so he, he starts to walk towards the, t the tent, but the young woman comes out with a coin purse and counts out, um, 80 gold. 60. Oh, right, yeah, you have 60. Three, forgot that one ra ran off, yeah. Alright, she counts out 60 and, yeah, 60. um, gives it to Balasar. So then there's four of us at, uh... Each That's of us 15. get 30. Right. Yeah. And so then... No, each of us get then the young man, 15, right? 30. Well, does Balasar count as a uh, PC for loot oh, wars? Or count as a guy who was keeping track of money? What? Like... Uh, uh... It, does Balasar count as a guy who has money? Is he an NPC or a PC? Yes, I do, because I'm No, Balasar, you... sorry, uh, Raptor. <laughs> oh, Raptor. Um, no, Raptor has his own uh, personal thing. Um, okay. Guys, we have to so stop we... here. I'm going to get logged off in one minute. Um, I'm going to... All right, so we each get 20 more. No, right. 30 oh. more gold. Oh, 20, okay. sorry. 20. You guys we work it out. Balasar. I will see you guys later. It yeah, I did. Save the map, right. though. See ya. Well, yeah. you didn't save it with the Eye of Alarm, yeah, but save. okay. Alright, um... Alex, if you don't, like, eat, do you actually have to sleep at all? I don't know. I can actually look that up in the rules. Alright, so... Don't, or eat, like... I've started recording. You... You're at the camp. Alright, hold up. Before we go to sleep, um... It would be really helpful if you guys, as I'm doing this ritual, would put up I uh, would walk up to me and put your hand on my hand because that will signify the fact to the eye of alarm that you are part of the ritual and not an intruder. Well, oh, it doesn't. Oh, so, just ask everyone to do wait, that. Wait, are you gonna? Yeah, are you gonna tell the hunter? Yeah. Yeah. This yeah, I told the hunter. Okay. All right. They, they say oh. okay. All right. The young woman. And Jinjin's the only one who's not responding. Okay. Jinjin says, "Screw this! I'll sleep somewhere else now." <laughs> No, um, yeah. reaches okay. over the eyeball an entire three feet. <laughs> no, he just he he was right here, and then he just jumped. He flew through the air because oh. he because <laughs> he can. <clears throat> so yes, all right, okay. the ritual is complete. Uh, now I tell the eye to um, if there's an intruder or somebody that it doesn't recognize that wasn't part of the ritual, I tell the eye to make a chiming cell. Uh, cell. It's chiming oh, noise, as if it was ringing a bell. Uh, actually, I've got a question. Do you think it would be a wiser idea for it to do, like, some kind of telepathic thing 
to you so you can wake us all up? Uh, I don't think something? that's actually possible. So kind of like, yeah, like, I think it's a, the noise, no, 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 you're it's making things way too complicated. The, yeah, okay. It's, it's not possible. Right. Did you iPhone. already do sell the pelts to the people? Yes, we yes. did. Okay. That end. All right. Thank you. About 20 bucks. Okay. All right. Give me a second to uh, look up the rules to see if I actually the have to sleep. Man carries the pelts into the tent. And uh, the woman. Oh no, I don't need to sleep. <laughs> yeah, you can just stand watch. May you can cook the food. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> I wouldn't know how to cook. Right. The woman says. It's here for over nine thousand years, and you can't cook. Because I've never needed to. The woman says, "Just let us know if you need anything." And then she goes into the tent and zips it up. All right. Raptor goes um, into this tent. And um, starts laying out a bedroll. Uh -huh. VX will sit next to the Eye of Alarm over the pit of fire. Same with before, before Jinjin walks into whatever tent he does, VX sends him a message and says, You know, I always wondered how somebody so small could contain so much energy. You obviously have not met small children. <laughs> <laughs> I respond with that. <laughs> Uh, I go to bed. I'm slowly. Okay, wait. Yeah, Which tent are you coming? Are you gonna sleep? Sleep? I'm gonna sleep outside. I'm a monk. I don't need a tent. Uh, <laughs> all right. All right. He sleeps on a bed of rocks. Okay. Before we go to sleep, have the eye of alarm do a perception check. That's a plus five because it's the eye of alarm. Okay. That's a. T all right. Um, it can. See, it doesn't see anything threatening in the right. near distance. Okay. <laughs> How long can you see through tents? Can't see but, through obstacles. Uh, yes, it can. But uh, before we go, um, but it has it has a maximum range of I believe tw uh, twenty squares, any uh, around it. Uh. But, but anyway, um, actually, just realizing that I actually want to move the alarm here, in case it ambushes you guys. Sorry. Okay. Um, anyway, though, uh. I send a message, a telepathic message, out to Raptor, Jinjin, and Balasar, asking them how long they want to sleep. Um, until do until dawn. We need to move during the day. How many hours? Wait, somebody just put a circle of twenty squares it's, around um, us. Let's say it's like um, eight at night right now, and we will want to wake up at seven. Uh, guys, good question. What's the giant circle? Oh, I just made that. That's just roughly. It's it's um. The eyes, Psych. like, field of vision. It doesn't really matter. I just put that there. I don't know why. Uh, okay. Anyway. Um. Anyway, that makes me feel safe. <laughs> yes. Any. Okay. So. Raptor. Every hour on the hour, I kind of want to do a perception check, because uh, just because okay, I can. Okay. All right. Raptor oh. disregards everyone, pulls his hood down a little further, and goes to sleep. All right. Okay. Vx stares into the distance, pondering a variety of meanings, though shares nothing of his thoughts to any of you. Because we're asleep and totally not conscious of any, in any way, shape, or form. <laughs> no, now he'll totally <laughs> just infiltrate your dream telepathically. Because he's bored. Yes. Um, the night gets okay, the darker. First hour. The first hour. Okay, that's a 26. Okay, still nothing threatening. Okay, next There's hour. Non threatening. Nothing so 32. threatening. The next hour, that's a 23. Nothing threatening. Next hour, 25. Nothing threatening. Next hour, nothing that's a. Okay. Next hour, 20. Nothing threatening. Next hour, 35. <laughs> nothing threatening. Next hour. A squirrel! 20. No, nothing. Oh my god! <laughs> nothing threatening. Kill it! Kill it with fire! <laughs> I don't know if you're gonna say that.